Welcome, I'm the PDP brand manager, Rob Dean. These are my kiddos, and today we are going to unbox and assemble this PDP center stage drum set. Let's get started. All right, first of all, uh, kids out there, make sure you have a parent with you if you're using these sharp objects to open these things. Uh, as you can see, I am not letting my kids open it, although I do trust them with knives. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. But, uh, but today we'll keep it safe. All right, guys, let's see what we got in here. All right, so first we're gonna just get everything out of the box. We're gonna separate our hardware and our drums and our cymbals. And once you get everything out of the box, we'll start doing assembly. All right, we got everything out of the box. Now let's get it unwrapped. Three, two, one. Whoa, what? Nice. All right. <laughs> So you'll notice that uh, everything is unwrapped now. Uh, we've got drums, we've got drum heads, cymbals, and some hardware. While we're doing this video, your kit may or may not come with cymbals and hardware. Your kit may or may not come assembled, depending on the brand and depending on the series. So today, we have an all-inclusive kit that comes with the drums, cymbals, and hardware but no matter what you're assembling, no matter what, what, what brand or, um, or, or series of kit, all the components are relatively the same. You're gonna have hoops, you're gonna have heads, you're gonna have tension rods, and you're gonna have a drum shell. No matter what kit you're assembling, you could use this video and you should be okay. First, we're gonna start with the drums. So we are going to assemble this floor tom. Uh, some of the other drums that came with the kit were already assembled. Uh, but this one needs to be assembled, and after this, we'll get to the, to the bass drum. So the first thing you want to do is locate this bag of accessories that came with your kit. If your kit doesn't come with a bag of accessories, then what you need to look for are the tension rods and the drum keys. So I'm just going to pour these out here. We'll chuck this. All right. So here we have a bag of short tension rods, which is gonna be used on this floor tom. And then we've got a bag of long tension rods, which we're gonna use on the bass drum. And then these claw hooks are also gonna get used on the bass drum. So right now, all we need to grab is this drum key that's in here with these uh, bass drum tension rods. So your kit should come with a drum key. If it doesn't come with a drum key, we have drum keys on the PDP website. Mm -hmm. Some of the, my boys here are using. So we've got a magnetic key here, has a little magnet. And this one comes with um, a lot of our bass drum pedals. And then we've got this high torque key in yellow. Some people ask about the yellow. This is so that if you're on stage or in your practice room or wherever you're at, and if it's dark, you can see the yellow. That's why we went with the yellow. I thought it was just because it looked cool. And it looks cool, boom. In the past, when I have been assembling drums, I would start to rip the bag off of the, off the, off the toms. Don't rip the bag off. There's a super easy way to get this bag off. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna show you how to do that. All right, so there's two tension rods on here. Guys, why don't you loosen that one up? Emerson, why don't you come over here and you loosen this one up, buddy. This one? Lefty loosey, righty tighty, yep. There we go. All right, so we got our two tension rods. Now hold on to these because you can use them. They are the right tension rods for your, for your floor tom. And, uh, you know, if you, uh, you could also have extras, which are always good to, to hold on to. All right, guys, so go ahead and take that plastic off of that drum. So shiny. Yeah. So as you can see, by taking the, the triple flanged hoops off, um, the bag comes off super easy. All right, I always like to start with the bottom head. So we're gonna flip this. If you wanna know where the bottom is, you can look at the badge on any drum set and it'll, you know, right side up will be your top, it'll be your bottom, or you could look at the floor tom legs, the, the TB, we call them TB105s or TB12s. These are gonna be at the bottom section of your floor tom. Just flip it over. All right, so we're gonna take our drum head, Wyland, why don't you go ahead and put that on top of here. 
Emerson, why don't you grab one of those hoops and you're going to set it on top of here, on top of this, uh, the head. And you're going to line up these holes with these holes here. All right, doesn't have to be perfect, just close. All right, how many holes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's get six short tension rods out of this bag here. All right. All right. All right. So you guys will notice that with these tension rods, there are washers. We're going to pour these out. You'll also notice that there are some extra receivers. So these are receivers, and these are what go inside of the lug. We give you some extra receivers because whenever you're dealing with any kind of, of threaded item, you, there's always the possibility that you could, you could strip out the, the thing that you're going into. And so if you do happen to strip it out, you can easily remove this with a screwdriver and replace the receiver that the tension rod goes into, okay? So there's some extra ones, so hold on to these. You're gonna, you'll, you, you probably won't need them while you're doing assembly, but it's good to have them, right? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> tension rod goes through the washer, tension rod goes into the, the lug or the receiver. You can just set it on there for now. If you want to put it down, uh, you can just kind of make it um, hand tight. And if it feels a little sticky in there, a little, little uh, like rough or grippy, use your key to smooth it out. Yeah, so hand tight, perfect, why? So let's get a couple more tension rods. And let's get this thing assembled. All right, rocking and rolling? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good Can you M's? check this one? Sure. Hey, that feels good. We're just going finger tight. Not too tight, all right, buddy? Yep, you're getting kind of tight on there, kiddo. Here, let's loosen that up just yeah. a hair. We just want to be finger tight, which means as soon as you feel it start to get snug, you're good. You want to have an even tension around the head. And if you want to learn how to tune, we're not going to do that in this video, but you can always go to the DW or PDP YouTube page and find some tuning tutorials to help you fine tune your drums. All right, we're going to do the same thing for the, for the top head here. All right? All right. All right, guys. Okay, now that your heads are on, <clears throat> I usually like to flip it back over just to make it easy. And we're going to take these floor tom legs and we're going to put them in these floor tom holders. All right. Like actual legs. Yeah. So look, you might have to loosen up the wing screw. All right. Loosen it up. Get this guy in there. I had to go to about, uh, I don't know, right about there. You'll have to adjust it. Loosen it up. Yeah. Did you loosen it up all the way? Hey, if you do that, no problem, people. Just throw it back in there. You're all right. Right? No worries. Not all, not all the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Got it, kiddo? Mm -hmm. All right, make those nice and tight. Yeah. And that is your floor tom. So then you can just set this to the side and next we're gonna throw together the bass drum. Now we're gonna assemble the bass drum, which is sort of like the other one, but it's a bit different. Yeah. It's way bigger. A little bit bigger, huh? All yeah. right, he's right. We are gonna assemble the bass drum. So you will notice that on the top of this bass drum, you have a bass drum mount, also known as a BDM. The BDM sits a little bit to the front and you'll also notice that you have legs on here, spurs, we call these. So the spurs are also uh, at the front of the bass drum head. So when you're assembling your bass drum head, you wanna put your logo head on this side and you're gonna put your clear batter head on this side. So first, we're gonna start with our logo head. So why don't you grab the black logo head, Why? All right, slap that on there. We'll get that nice and even. Kind of line it up, just like so. No matter what brand you got, you wanna throw it up on there, represent. All right, let's grab a hoop. Now this is a wrapped kit. So on a wrapped kit, you'll notice that there's gonna be a little bit of a seam on your hoops because it's not lacquer. What I like to do is I like to take that seam, I like to put it down at the bottom of my, of my kit or the, the drum so that it's not seen while you're playing, right? We got our long tension rods here. 
We got our claw hooks. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do like we did on the floor tom. We're gonna take this uh, tension rod, put it through the claw hook like so. Claw hook's gonna lay on top of that hoop. And we're just gonna finger tight. You don't wanna, you don't wanna over tighten anything right now because then if you do that, you're gonna pull the weight to one side and you're gonna get uneven tension on the drum. So the idea is just to get the claw hooks and the tension rods on here. You want them to just stay on there, so that's why we're doing a finger tight, and then move on to the next to the next uh, tension rod. Here you go, bud. All right, we got all eight on here. All right, let's flip it. Let's do the same thing. We'll do it with the clear head. All right. All right. Go ahead, buddy. Yep. You find that seam. All right. Find the seam. Right on the bottom. This is your bottom. Yep. All right. I'll grab some claw hooks and some tension rods. Good? Yep. Feel it. All right. Good job, guys. Now it's a proper drum. All right. So. Almost. Oh. Yeah, almost. <laughs> That's your bass drum assembly. Now it's time for the hardware. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is all the hardware that came with the center stage kit. If your kit didn't come with hardware, you could pretty much ignore this, but if you are working on hardware, you could, you could follow us uh, to see how to put it together if you, need, if you need help with that. So we're gonna knock this out pretty quick. So this is the bass drum pedal. All right, you'll see it has a radius rod here. And what we're gonna do is, you just kind of squeeze that rod together and it goes into the holes pretty easily. If I can find the hole. Where's the hole? Where's the hole, Wylan? It's right there. Where's the hole? It's right there. Okay, there we go, we found it. <laughs> All right. So now your pedal is almost ready to go. Now you just wanna have the beater in here. If you like a little bit of a punchier sound, you use the hard plastic. I guess the other side is a soft plastic, so it's still a little punchy, but it's not as hard as the hard plastic. All right, why can you loosen up that key screw right there? Uh-huh. All right, don't take it all the way out. I don't all right. know. Now we're gonna slap this guy in here, and then Wylan, you go ahead and tighten them down. So you'll see there's two key screws on this particular pedal. You can tighten them both down for extra support. Got it, buddy? Mm -hmm. All right, now your bass drum pedal is ready to go. What should we do next, guys? You wanna do the hi-hat stand or the snare stand? Yeah, the snare stand. All right, grab oh. that. Grab this, this stuff right here. That's going to be the snare stand. This guy right here. There you go. All right, so it's in two pieces. All right, so you've got the base of the, of the snare stand. We're just going to open this up. Tighten it down. You want to tighten that down? Yeah. All right. And then we're going to loosen up this post here. Tighten that down. This tube is gonna go into there. You wanna do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this right here is a memory lock. What that does is, remembers where you like to have it. So <laughs> you can lock. loosen this up while you're adjusting it. Yeah, right? And then you can tighten it down. This way, if you're putting it in the, the cases or something like that and you're going places, you can take it out. When you put it back together, it goes right back to the same spot you had it before and you don't have to worry about readjusting it every time you set up your drum set. That's convenient. That is convenient. All right, we're gonna open this up here. This is our snare basket. We're gonna use this adjustable basket nut here to hold it into place. And now your snare stand's ready to go. All right, guys, should we do the hi-hat stand next? Yeah. All right. All right, Emerson, you're gonna help me with this one, okay? All right, so this one, you can see it has a radius rod on the bottom, just like the pedal, the bass drum pedal did. But we have a tripod here. We're gonna open that up like so. Let's face it this way. And actually, let's move the stand out of the way. You guys can get a good, good look here. All right, Emerson. Yes. Squeeze <laughs> these together, put them in the holes down there. 
You can do one at a time or both at the same time, either way. Good job. Much better than I did on the pedal. <laughs> All right. This is the fun part. This is the part that can be a little bit tricky. So you'll notice that there's a, a hi-hat rod on the stand. And this is going to have to get screwed into a nut that's right here. The easiest way that I've found to do this, I'm going to have you do this, why? Right. Is I like to leave the clutch on here. So this is your hi-hat clutch. I like to leave the clutch on here at the top. All right? right? All right. And then that way you can see the grooves there. The, the uh, what are these called? Threads. Threads. The threads, we can put it into that nut right there. And then you can turn this. to tighten it into the nut, right? Mm -hmm. When that stops turning, you're good to go. You don't need to over tighten it. You're good. And there, so, is there another memory lock here? There's another memory lock here. Great, man. Woo! <laughs> that uh, magnet on there. So I'm going to loosen the memory lock so that I can slide this hi-hat uh, tube down. All right, and then I'm going to take this clutch off. And we're going to put our hi-hats on this clutch. So now you're good here, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So why don't you take these off? We're going to take, take this off all the way down to these felts. So take it all the way down to the one felt, to take the one felt off. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to take, you've got two sets of symbols that come with the center stage kit. You've got a smaller set, which is going to be your hi-hats. You'll have two of them. And you've got a crash ride, which is a little bit bigger. And you have one of these. So let's save this one for now. We're going to take one of these, Emerson. We're going to put it right on, right on here. It's going to be your bottom. So turn it around. There you go. You reach it. Nice, dude. And that's going to sit just like that. I like that sound. Wyland, you're going to take this. Put it on there. All right. All right. Now you put the felt on. Then you put the washer over the felt. Then you put one of the um, nuts on there. Does it matter which way? We're going to take the one that has no lip on it. We're going to put that one on first. All right. Okay. And then the one that has a lip on it, we're going to leave that down. But the reason why there's two is because once you tighten this on there, it'll keep it from untightening. It kind of locks them together, okay? All right. Which is important while you're playing because um, then your hi-hat doesn't come loose. All right? So now we've got that on there. So Wylan, go ahead and put that on top of the hi-hat stand. Perfect. And now we've got your hi-hats. Hi-hat stand, right? Yeah, go for it. Ready to go. That easy. Easy peasy. All right, let's move this over here to the side. And let's grab the cymbal stand. All right, so this is our cymbal stand. Same thing. All right, why? Open that up. Put it on the tripod. All right. Go ahead and tighten it down. All right, now you're going to take that tube, put it in here. You might need to loosen this up if it's tight. Mm -hmm. it might be okay. That's fine. Just enough. All right. Okay, now you can tighten this, tighten it down. Go ahead and uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. All right. If you need it to go a little higher, you loosen this bottom one up. Why? Pull it up a little bit and then tighten it wherever you want. And then we're also going to, we want this to be facing up. So go ahead and loosen that up and reach it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It up. Fantastic. All right. Now, I'm going to lower this down for a second, make it a little easier for you. All right. Let's go ahead and loosen up this wing nut. Take it off. Yep. Go ahead and take it off. Emerson, why don't you grab that symbol right there, buddy? Got it. One off. All right, take yeah, one felt there. off. Go ahead and put that on there. Yep, just like so with the bell on top. 
Nice. All right, Wylan. Yep, that goes back on there. Good job. Can you even see that? No. No? <laughs> feeling? Good stuff. I like it. All right, that's good. It gets us where we need to be. All right, so that is your straight symbol stand with your crash ride. Yeah. All right, one more thing to assemble. This is easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Mm-hmm. All right, this is our throne. It's not a stool. <laughs> it's a throne. I almost said stool. Yeah. Porcelain throne? Not a porcelain throne, because that's where stool goes. This it's a, it's a drummer's. is something that a drummer sits on. It's a drummer's. And uh, we need a throne, right? You gotta have a throne. Mm -hmm. Drummers need thrones. All right, let's throw just that on top. A spinny seat. No spinny <laughs> seats. All right. Is this one this nice and tight? One? All right. Yeah, and that's it. There's your spin. throne. Uh, once you have it assembled, if you need to adjust, you know what? Here, let's let's show you how to adjust this throne real quick. All right. So check this out. If you need to adjust the height on this on this uh, drum throne, take the wing screw off this little piece here. Pull this bolt out. It's gonna be a little tight, but that's all right. Stuck in there. All right. And you'll see there's multiple holes on here. So if you needed to go a little higher, you can do so. I'll just take it to about this third hole here. Get that back in there. Yep, you wanna put that on there, Why? Mm -hmm. Cool, man. Nice and tight. All right, good stuff. And now you've adjusted it so it's a little bit higher. Good to go. And that is how you get your throne together. And now you can sit on it. Now you can sit on it. So next, we're going to set the whole kit up. We'll show you how to set up the entire kit with all your new stands and your new drums. The first thing you want to do, you'll notice it's a little bit wobbly, is get these uh, bass drum spurs set down onto the ground. Make it a little bit forward. There you go, just like that, kiddo. Perfect. All right. And then you'll notice that it's not quite touching the ground yet. So take your drum key. You wanna take your drum key, Why? You're gonna loosen up that key screw right there until it drops down, all right? I like to have the front head about a half inch off the ground, all right, and then tighten it. Yep, nice and tight. Good, all right, now you're more stable. Yay. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put this bass drum pedal onto the bass drum. So Wylan, why don't you slide that up in there? All right. Can you reach it, buddy? Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. And then tighten down this uh, this uh, wing screw. Tighten it. Tighten it. Tighten it. Nice. All right. So you're good. Nice and tight. Nice sturdy. Good to go. All right. Now. Yeah. We're gonna put these tom holders into the bass drum mount. You'll notice these have memory locks. We're gonna put those memory locks on there. And you're also gonna notice these have wing screws. So I'm just gonna put them on like so, tighten it down. You wanna have your wing nuts facing out. Or wing screws, I should say. Have those facing out so they're easy to adjust. If you had them facing in, it might be difficult for you. So just make sure you got them on the right side. I'm gonna loosen up these memory locks up here. Slide these back kind of out of the way so we can get our toms on here. All right, you guys wanna hand me the 10 inch and 12 inch tom? Yep, so that's the 10. So if you're right-handed, this is gonna go on the left side. And if you are lefty, you play lefty, you'd put this on the opposite side. All right, we're just gonna put that in here. Now that's pretty high up, so I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down a bit. And then you can make all the final adjustments and tweaks once you get it all kind of together. All right, now we've got our 12 inch Tom. I'm gonna go ahead, let's see. 
loosen this up a hair. Get this guy on here, like so. You'll notice, you know, you got your hole here. Loosen that up. Tighten that down. All right, I'm going to loosen this, drop this down a hair. All right, there's one, two. All right, so they probably don't look perfect right now, but you can, you can take care of all that on your own. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now, what's next, guys? All right, we get our floor tom. Got your badge on the front of your floor tom. You want to represent, so you throw that out there like so. And then we got our snare stand. We're going to use with our snare drum. I'm going to put that right around here. So, here, Wyland, you want to put the snare on there? Mm -hmm. All right, you want to keep the throw off on the left, on the left hand side. So right now you kind of got it in the front, so let's turn it like this. There you go. Put it on the left, and then we're going to tighten up the basket here. You want to go ahead and give that nut a, yeah. Nice, kiddo. Good job. All right. Hi-hat stand. Go ahead and set that bad boy right about there. Again, you can make all your adjustments once you get it kind of set up. Lower it, higher, whatever you like. What do we got left? Our crash ride. Mm -hmm. You want to play it like a ride? You can throw it over here. You want to play it more like a crash? You can throw it over here. Again, you can adjust this however you like. What else, guys? We need a throne? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's throw that throne up there, Emerson. All right, this particular kit comes with a set of sticks. So I'm just going to throw those right here. And that's it. Oh. That's it. Yeah. So we hope that we helped you assemble your kit, get everything put together again. Just remember, no matter what kit you have, no matter what brand it is, you could probably use this video to help you get, get your stuff set up. And happy playing. Just remember, drums are loud. If you have hearing protection, please use it. I always make these guys wear hearing protection. Uh, my ears are shot. I don't want their ears to be shot, so I have them, I have them put the stuff on before they jam. All right, thanks everybody for, uh, for tuning in. Yeah. You want to say bye? Bye. See ya. See ya. Thank you.